Hey Lane, I got a call this week and I had a customer who's a gentleman that called and asked me about insulation and he was talking about his attic and he asked me what is the difference between closed cell and open cell insulation. Can you answer that? And you said it's for the attic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well actually open cell and closed cell doesn't make any difference if it's the attic or any other place that you use it. The difference between the two is it's both a two-part urethane foam. It's actually they're actually manufacturing foam at the job site. It's actually being produced right there. So it's actually two parts that are made. The difference is in, in the industry standards is what they call two pound foam, which is two pounds per cubic foot, is what we call closed cell. The other is a half pound, so it's a lot lighter weight. So open cell is, stays spongy. You could almost use it like a pillow. It's very springy. And so the thing, the biggest difference between the two of them is one gets very rigid and hard. Everybody knows about great stuff and that type of thing. That's kind of what closed cell is, a version of that. And the open cell say something that's very spongy. And that's the biggest difference between the two. So in what application would you use either one? Well, open cell, either one of them works very well for filling voids that you can't get into with other ends of it. And the idea is... Most of your insulation isn't so much of the R value, the resistance to heat loss and heat gain, as it is the air infiltration that comes through the house. So that's really what we're trying to stop. Closed cell does a lot better job of it because any application of it and anything on it will stop the air movement. And you actually need to get up to two and a half inches minimum on an open cell before it's gonna stop. So what you gotta think of is that open cell is a bunch of open, open particles and so it actually literally takes on moisture. So one of the things that manufacturers actually say is that is it will distribute moisture through it evenly. And it should be up to the building architect to make sure. Well, in most cases, what we're talking about is retrofitting, and we've already got problems. So yeah. why rely on open cell and then trying to divert the way the water is? Closed cell goes in, you're sealing it off, it's making it rigid, and it actually literally makes the house stronger. If you're open going into an open cavity, it makes whatever structure's in there stronger too. So in a crawl space or attic on a existing home that's an older home, you're saying you would recommend a closed cell. We would definitely go closed cell. We can, we can do a lot better job of doing air sealing. We can go to a lesser R value, a lesser inches. Uh, that is the other difference between open cell and closed cell is the R value is almost half in open cell as it is in closed cell. You, so you need almost twice as thick a product as you do with the closed cell. So again, it makes it stronger, does a better job air sealing, and it seals all, you know, the, all the air out. That's the most important thing. Is the cost about the same? To In place, it will be if you're trying to achieve the same amount of R value. Oh. So, because it does take more product. All right, well, thank you for joining us on our videos. And if you have any questions, please email us.